series one um, is a fantastic series by the way but series two I really wanted to um, go deeper into um, the local people's lives um, I wanted to know okay I know that lady does the best um, wuncha, you know, char grilled pork patties with the vermicelli noodles, and she's been sitting there for the last 35 years. I know that, and I know that it costs 10,000 dong, and I know it's awesome, right? But what I want to, I want to go further than that. So um, I would speak to her and ask a lot of questions, and the next morning I would go to her house at 4:30 in the morning and see where she lives, and you know, just look at her environment, and we would buy the produce together. A freshly slaughtered pig, you know, it's so fresh. Um, we would slice it all up, marinate it, make the sauce, um, char grill the the dish, put it all together, set up the um, set up the actual uh, street stall, and help her sell it. So it, you know, that, it just goes so much further than than any other cooking show has done. I guess the the difference between this series, the second series, and the first one. The first one was really easy traveling down the co up the coast. Sorry, um, there was water, it was beautiful. But this one here, it's from the center going up north. So we we went through, you know, trekked up high mountains and into the jungle and into small minority group villages, middle of nowhere. So that was really taxing um, physically. Um, but um, we just went to places that no one else has been before. No, any other tourists have been there. And we went to this um, minority group called the Flower Hmong. Um, traditional garb, colorful colors. You know, it's almost like you're not in Vietnam. It's, it's just absolutely fantastic. And we went to um, her little house where she makes corn wine. A little mud brick house. It's like a hobbit's house. Amazing. And, um, but we had to get there first. So we had a lot of motorbikes. The, the, our, our car couldn't get there because it was so narrow that we had to hire all these motorbikes with all the generators and all the equipment up the mud mud hill there. And we got there, uh, finally got there and started to shoot and then it started to pour down rain. And when, when it started to rain, um, there was a bit of a mudslide. And so we actually were trapped there for some time after the shoot. And uh, we had a pocket of five minutes where it stopped raining. So we had to get all our motorbikes put all the gear on and get out of there before you know, it started to rain again. We fell over, um, generators you know, kind of fell down the, the hill. Um, we were in mud up to our knees and uh, we thought we weren't gonna leave. We couldn't leave this, this, this area. Um, and there were a lot of little accidents, but luckily no one was hurt. Uh, but we finally got out and that was probably one of our toughest, toughest days.